Hey everybody, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. This is the Pocketbook Touch HD 2. Really the only major differences between this one and the previous Pocketbook Touch HD was the smart light, and we'll show you that in the review. We'll just do a 360 here. So here's the front of the device. It is still not flush screen and bezel. You do have a gap. Nothing on the side, nothing on this side, nothing on the top. The bottom is where all the fun stuff happens. So you have your micro, USB, your 3.5mm headphone jack, your micro SD, your power uh, hard reset button, and your power button. You also have physical page turn buttons right here or menu navigation. You have your more button and your home button. Primarily our audience is English so you guys can hold and pause on the English specifications there. 180 grams, uh, 6 inch, 1072 by 1448. So. We'll just show the other languages here. You guys can pause any moment at any of these. You'll notice that it says right here, not for sale in the Russian Federation or France, but it appears that we have um, French language right there. So looking at the home screen here, you do have a little carousel here. You can swipe left and right, or you can press the page turn buttons down below. The page turn buttons will kind of do different things based on where you are in your device. If you pull the top down from those little lines you see, you have the front light, the smart light, we'll look at that later. You have some notifications like uh, you've logged into the cloud, uh, you've logged into this or that. You have sync task manager settings, we'll look at some settings. Once again, we're not gonna go through every single one of these. You have Wi-Fi, accounts and synchronization, Languages is where it really gets interesting because this is an international device. You do have a lot of different languages, tons of languages here, uh, more than we'd like to show, but it is really cool how Pocketbook is very internationally friendly, so they do have lots of languages available. Also, they have something that you can swipe up from the bottom, and you have some things like very light games, uh, audio player, bookstore, calculator, stuff like that. Calculator, it just opens up calculator like so. So that is kind of the main of the home screen experience. So we are Goody Reader, so we're gonna look at the e-reading experience. So if you tap the center, you get all of the stuff down below here. You get font settings, you can do the margins and line spacing and all that stuff. You can adjust the font size. Everything changes live. You press the single A here to get in the different types of fonts. Once again, um, pocketbooks are very kind of open sourcey, so you do have lots of different font styles and you have regular italic and bolds. He also has um, not justification, but you can do spacing, like you can uh, expand it to the width, add a status bar, all that kind of thing. Page turns are really quick. You can use the buttons, of course, down below, or you can swipe with your finger. Long pressing on something allows you, that was not accurate, but it's still there. You can do highlights. You can do notes. We'll take a look at the keyboard here. So the keyboard is an unconventional QWERTY. You see the Q and the A are stacked as opposed to staggered. It registers your clicks pretty well. It doesn't really play catch up or anything, so it's a pretty solid writing experience. You can also long press and search in Google, dictionary, share to different social media platforms, and so forth. We'll just go back here. This thing does uh, stall out a little bit, so you have to be a little bit patient with it. You also have voice that'll read the uh, text back to you very robotically. Of course, you will need to plug in a um, audio device in the bottom, either being a external speaker or a pair of headphones. Here's the web browser that is on here. It's one of the three choices on the main screen, so we thought we'd look at it. If I just type in Wikipedia as a very simple kind of site to go to, we're just going to press enter. This is going to be an unedited speed test to see, to show you guys how long it takes to do simple page jumps. So once that's loaded, we'll click on that. Wikipedia jumps right up, so you can see when it comes to the uh, the images, it takes a little bit to get into them, but the pages appear really quickly, and obviously this would all depend on your internet connection, how fast it is, but overall, it's pretty solid. So this is kind of what we all wanted to see. This is the thing that is actually new on this device. Now you have the front light, but you also have the smart light. The automatic mode doesn't really use a light sensor, simply goes by the time of day, which in this case is not correct because it is not midnight. 
So we're just gonna slide the smart light in manual mode and you can see we've gone from very blue to very orange. And why they do that is because it's supposed to match your environment and be easier on the eyes than a super light blue cool light. So unfortunately there's no real way to change this while you're reading a book. You have to, for example, if you're reading a book like that, you gotta click into it, drag the top down like so then you can start moving it around and once you do it changes pretty quickly that's pretty much the only way to change it so overall the pocketbook touch hd2 doesn't really do anything new it simply adds the smart light nothing else is really innovating here so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions questions comments or concerns or requests of what you want us to do with this e-reader please let us know down below in the comment section for goodyreader.com this is peter Thank you.